don't you watch where you're going. Will you give me a ride, please? It's practically just... Sure, hop in. But where can I take you? Oh, um, home. Only I don't know exactly where it is. You see, I'm new here. Oh, don't you know the street, the number, or anything? No. I'll have to drive you up and down the streets, I guess. Oh, that's fine. I mean, that's the best way to find it. What's your name? Jimmy Arnold. Mine's Doris Winter. Well, that means I won my seat for football. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Maybe next year you'll play well enough to get a name. It stands for Canbury. I put over the winning touchdown in a game with Galesburg. We beat him 20 to 19. Oh, that's a beautiful score. Look for your house, will you? I can't be riding around town with a strange woman. Say, if you're a woman. Why, certainly. Well, then you ought to have a woman's intuition. All women have it. That's what makes them know they're right, even when they aren't. Well, I got a problem. It's a girl named Elaine Sterling, and I want to take her to the junior prom with me. Only there's a Ronald Stacy, and he's got a roaster twice the size of the chariot I got. Ah, but is he a drip? He's a drizzle of the first water. And maybe she's going with him. You mean she's trifling with your affections? Have you asked her yet? Well, yes and no. Every time I get near her, my tongue gets kind of pigeon-toed. Anyway, I think she's stalling me. Why don't you, well, get another girl to go with you? I don't want just some mud hen. Now, Elaine, she's... she's a real bundle bunny. What's that? That's a bundle bunny, a, a snuggle pup, a beetle. She makes my heart act just like a yo-yo. I hope you'll be very happy. There's my house. Well, thanks. Say, we've been past this place four times. It's right next door to my house. It is? Why, that's practically the hand of Providence. 